Stevies, we are back in the garage again. Why? Because of this. For those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, uh, you know that we went to Sturgis last year, and while in Sturgis, Miss Stevie bought a whole bunch of stuff, and we had to have buy a bag to bring it home. So, this is the bag that we bought. This is the Kiryakin Torque. 25L, which I don't know if that stands for liters or what, but this is kind of getting into their adventure bags a little bit. Um, they have a whole line of these torque bags. They have saddle bags and, and tank bags and stuff, but the reason why we bought this one is because it is waterproof the way it is. You don't need an extra rain cover or anything for it. The zippers are rubber. The inside of the bag, it has an orange rigid liner inside there and it's got velcro deals on the side we'll get to that but it also has a pocket in the back if i can open it and show you kind of like a neoprene you could fit a laptop a small laptop or an ipad or something in there on the outside it has one waterproof outside pouch and these zippers are still kind of a little bit a little bit tough but these uh these little loops though are kind of the the cool thing about this bag we'll get to those in a little bit this i'm not really sure what this is for you could i don't know you could unthread it through these and maybe put something in there but you also have a back pouch on the outside it has linear pull it close you know and all that more of these loops and we'll get to those in a little bit i'm not really sure why the sides of these buckle down too but I think these are just to help you close it. Just gonna open it like that. Um, and then you can just buckle them down to get them out of the way so they're not flapping along in the breeze. But this bag is also a backpack which the straps are back here. And this is the bag that I wore when I went and did the live Fury Friday. I have all my camera stuff in here. I've got the chest strap, which is also, you can move the chest strap around. So the cool thing about this bag, one of the cool things, buckle system, how you strap it down. So it comes with a variety of different straps. One is uh, the buckle on both sides. And the way that these buckles work, you take your buckle, and I have to like kind of pinch it back and turn it like that. But what you do is you hold your buckle down, fish it through here, and I always have to kind of turn it sideways a little bit. But you fish the buckle through there. And that is what holds the strap to the bag. Just like that. And then I come out. Let's see, it comes with a couple of these straps with the buckle on each side, pull for tension on each side. This one is another one of those. But it also comes with two of these, and these are the ones that I use the most. So this is your strap. And basically, if you were going to wrap it around something, we'll use my arm for resistant, for example. Put my arm through there. Tighten up the strap. Put the buckle on the bag. And then pull it tight. But it comes with two of these, and these are the ones that I use on the bike. One of the things the Kiriakin guy also told me is that this can be used as a cooler. Because it will hold water. So, yeah, there is that also. But you can also pump it up with there with your mouth. And, you know, it'll float. We're going to go strap it down to the bike.
Okay, so I've got my bag on my luggage rack. Man, eh, pretty much where I want it. I've got my strap with the two buckles on each side. So, I'm gonna come up. My luggage rack has these little slots, which makes it very easy to do this. I go under here, push that through the slot. I said slot. Now, these are all plastic, guys. They're not gonna hurt anything. I ran that through upside down. Let's turn that over. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky, like I said before, because I've got to like turn it sideways a little bit and then push it up through the canvas loop and turn it sideways. And now you've got that nice and tight. I will pull this. It's got a little, has a little keeper to keep your your slack but my slack is going to be clear underneath the bag so i'm going to get that under here now and make it even as possible and i'll just clip that out of the way now let's see another side same thing on the other side i'm gonna run this through i'm gonna come up flip it over turn it sideways a little bit it's a little loop push it through there Pull it through, and I got it. I really like this setup, that's kind of neat. So, now I've got this excess, I'm going to pull it tight. Pull it tight on this side also. Excess on this side <laughs> tight now we loop this up through our little keeper which if you've got more than enough and see how it hangs down I don't know if you guys can see this or not but I mean these little keepers is that a perfect system nope does it work yes it does okay so we've got it now We've got it where it's not going to come off. It's loose, it's not really tight, but it's not gonna come off. So I'm gonna take this other strap. This other one, I'm gonna run it through here on this one. Cause this is the angle that I want. Like so. So I've got it through there. Now I'll run it along my backrest here over yeah puppies you're not in the way you're not in the way to the other side now we'll do the same thing over here okay i'll tighten it up on both sides the puppies are helping me like always they go into the garage the puppies want to be out here it's just the way it is Plus, if you actually have stuff in the bag, it's gonna be way more rigid. Now, if you are concerned about this, <laughs> this is where this little thing comes into play. We let the air out, it gets even looser, see? So, let the air out, pull it tight some more. You can hear air coming out of it. A little bit tighter, right? Now, if I want to tighten this up more, I blow into this and, <laughs> and it will tighten it up. And there we go. Look how tight it is now. So it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, you just got, well, that's a little bit loose. We want this a little bit tighter than that. There we go. Get that underneath there cinched away. See, the bag's not gonna go anywhere. So this is the bag that we use. I enjoy using this bag. If you guys wanna see me go full tour out, let me know. I've got another big Kiriakum bag that I'd put on the back seat, strap that one down. This net comes with it. And I've never put this on, so yeah. I said we might as well just put it on now for the first. It'll fit across the front. 
through here and down there. Maybe, is that what they intend? Let's try that. And this thing through here, this one, this one through here. <laughs> You're a good puppy though, right? Yeah, you just, Happy to be out here for some reason right now. Put one there, and then this one. And now you got a net to stick stuff in. Is this the best bag in the world? Eh, there's probably better ones out there, but like I said, I like this because I don't have to worry about putting another rain flap over to worry about it when it's raining. The torque. 25L from Karyakin. But yeah, if you guys want to see me go full tour out, let me know. I'll go get I'll get the other bag and we'll put it on there and then here pretty shortly we'll do a packing video for the trip that we've got coming up. So everybody if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool and we will see you in the next one.